Welcome back to an introduction to basic concepts of maintenance and reliability. In this lecture, we are going to look at a very important concept associated with condition monitoring. It is called the PF interval. If you plot a graph of how an equipment or its components condition degrades over time, you will get a plot like this. It simply shows how failure is not a sudden drop of condition, but a gradual drop. Let's say we are talking about a ball bearing of an electric motor. At some point, it will give some indication that something is wrong. It is called the point of potential failure. It could be the vibration sensor picking up a vibration signature that is not normal from the bearing. The actual functional failure will take place after whatever the underlying cause is. It remains unaddressed, resulting in bearing failure. PF interval is simply the time duration between potential failure and functional failure. So what is the use of knowing the PF interval for a given failure? It becomes a deciding factor in planning the maintenance or inspection interval that needs to be devised for preventing a failure. Your maintenance interval should be smaller than the PF interval so you are able to catch the potential failure before the failure actually occurs. PF interval helps maintenance departments in developing maintenance schedules as well as in planning failure finding tasks. With this, we conclude our discussion on PF interval. See you in the next lecture.